Here I have 3.6 solving a 3 system of linear equations that is inconsistent or consistent dependent. So it says consider the following systems and I have two different ones that I'm going to need to solve. Okay, Choose the best description of its solution if applicable. Give its solution. The system has no solution or the system has infinitely has a unique solution or the system has infinitely many solutions and so then you need to describe what those are going to look like okay the biggest one is this last one because there's three options for it okay so you definitely already have seen what it looks like when you have a unique solution that's when you can find x you can find y and you can find z what happens here in this situation is if you get no solution that means that all of your variables will wipe out at some point and what you'll be left with is an equation that is false like 0 equals 5 right that's a false equation and then the last one is infinitely many solutions where your variables will all cancel and you'll end up with 0 equals 0 okay and in that case it's a true statement and so you have infinitely many solutions and depending on which variables canceled in your previous steps um, you'll choose one of these options okay so let's go ahead and start this first one so we're gonna take a and I'm going to take mm, I think I want to take equation 1 and 2 because I can eliminate Z right away okay so if I take negative X plus 2y plus Z equal to 1 and then equation 2 right underneath that that's going to give me negative 3x positive 1y z's are gone and 4. then i'm going to take another two or the third equation for sure so negative 3x minus 4y minus 3z equal to 5 but then i need to take either equation one or equation two to eliminate that same z so i think i'm going to take the top one because this one's negative i want a positive but i am going to have to multiply it by three so that gives me negative three x positive six y positive three z equal to positive three and when i combine those i get negative six x positive 2y, z's cancel, and then I get 8. And so then I have to solve this resulting equation with these two um, variables. So then what I'm going to end up doing is if I want to eliminate um, x per se, I'm going to have to multiply this one by 2. What I get will be, actually I'm going to need to multiply it by a negative 2. To make it a positive 6 to cancel out with this negative 6. So that's going to be positive 6, negative 2y, and negative 8. So what I'm left with is actually everything cancels. So I have nothing left on the left hand side and I have nothing left on the right hand side. This is a true statement, okay? Which means that um, I'm going to have infinitely many solutions, definitely, okay? But which one of these options do I choose? Okay, so what you've got to do is you've got to look at the two equations you had when you eliminated one variable. Is there any particular variable, either here, 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 or here, that looks fairly easy to isolate? Okay, and how do you know which one is the easiest to isolate? It's the one that has a positive one coefficient. So this one. So that's the one I want to um, isolate. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add 3x over to the other side to isolate it. So I get y equals positive 3x and a positive 4. Now, this is going to help me to figure out which option to choose. Okay, The variable, once you've isolated one of the variables, and it doesn't matter which one, as long as it's the one with one coefficient. If none of them have a one coefficient, then you just pick one to isolate, okay? Once you've isolated one of the variables, you're gonna look on the other side, okay, and see what variable is there. 
In this case, what I what I have is x. So x in this particular way I did it is my independent variable, which means I'm gonna choose this top option where x is my independent variable, okay? So I already know that that's going to be my answer, x. Now I just have to come up with the expressions for y and z. And I already have an expression for y. I know that y is equal to 3x plus 4. What is left to figure out is the um, expression for z. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that top equation that I had in the box and I'm going to leave x as x because that is the independent variable. Then I'm going to plug in the expression I have for y plus z equal to 1. And all I'm going to do is isolate z so that I could have an expression of what is it, it's equivalent to. So negative x plus 6x plus 8 plus z equal to 1. That is 5x plus 8 plus z equal to 1. So if I minus 5x on both sides, I'm going to get 8 plus z equal negative 5x and a positive 1. And then if I minus 8 over, I'm going to get positive z equals negative 5x and negative 7. Because positive 1 minus 8 will give me negative 7. So now I have an expression for z. And then this is going to be the answer to this system. Now I do want to point out that every single one of these could have been the answer. It all depended on which variable you decided to eliminate and then which variable you decided to solve for when you realized that you got zero, zero, okay? So I could have ended up with this as my answer, except I would have had to have found an expression for x and one for z, or if I had chosen to eliminate a different set of variables, I could have had this guy arbitrary and then come up with the two, um, expressions for x and y okay so i don't want you to think that there's only one answer to an infinitely many solution you could choose whichever one of these three you want to choose okay i'm just, just trying to explain to you how to get it the fastest okay and that is to try to isolate one of these variables that looks like it's the easiest and then whichever variables on your right hand side after you've isolated one of the variables see this guy's isolated now I look over here, and then that's going to be the independent variable. So that would be the option that I choose. Now let's go ahead and move on to B. Now I may need to run into some of the space because it doesn't look like I have a lot left, okay? So system B is this one here. So it actually looks like I can eliminate Y pretty easily in this one. So I'm going to combine these two together and I will get positive 1x, the y's will cancel, I'll get positive 3z, and then positive 2. Now I want to take the third one for sure and eliminate the same variable, y. So I'm going to take the positive y to eliminate this negative y. But I do need to multiply this guy by a 2. So when I do that, I'm going to get negative 2x, positive 2y, positive 4z equal to negative 6. And then the bottom equation is going to go right underneath that. And then I can combine. So then these give me 3x. That wipes out. I get 9z equal to 4. And so the resulting equation is going to be this equation and this equation. So what variable can I isolate now? Now it would probably be easier for me to isolate the x by multiplying this by negative 3. So when I do that, I get negative 3x, negative 9z, and a negative 6. So here, these both end up canceling, giving me 0. But on the right-hand side, I end up with negative 2. And we know that this is not true. This is completely false. And so then this means that there is no solution to the system at all.